Yeah. And they're going to live stream it on our website. I hope that's clean. <laughs> Hey, testing one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. It's Tim Szymanski, S Z Y M A N S K I, Las Vegas Fire and Rescue. So at 325 this morning, we had a report of a fire in a three story senior residency high rise. Uh, it eventually went to a three alarm. Smoke was showing from a second story balcony of the three story building, fire lapping up to the third floor. Uh, second and third floors were evacuated. The bus was brought in to house those seniors while the firefighters put it out. They were able to confine it to the two apartments. The fire started on the second floor on the balcony of one apartment and lapped up to the balcony of the apartment and extended to that unit on the third floor. It was confined to the two units in the hallway on the second floor, $150,000 damage. We have no injuries in connection with this incident. And the cause of the fire appears to be smoking related. Now the occupant says that uh, they did smoke on the balcony late last night before going to bed. The fire investigator says that the patterns found on the balcony are consistent with the fire originating around where the smoking material, she says that she was smoking. So it's accidental, nobody hurt. Crews are picking up, returning uh, to their stations. There were no injuries in connection with the incident. And Tim, we have a lot of people who have mobility issues on wheelchairs. How lucky are we that we have no injuries at all? At what it appears that the, the hallway was completely uh, smoke filled. And a lot of these people have hearing issues. The fire alarms did go off. These doors are made to withstand fire and smoke. And a lot of them, we had to wake them up and the firefighters had to uh, take them out. Uh, by that time, we were already starting to take smoke out of the building. So actually with the doors closed, they were like sheltering in place. And it was probably a blessing in disguise in that by those people staying in their units, they didn't go into the smoke filled hallway, which could have caused more injury. So it worked out really well. I was talking with a, with a resident who was telling me that she was in her unit crying, stuck, unable to get out until just out of nowhere, firefighter, firefighters rush in and take her out. She was so thankful. Your thoughts? Well, on these newer buildings, it's little boxes that are put together to make a big box. And if, every, if the conditions are right, the fire should be confined to the one box where the fire originated. So the best place for you to be if you can't get out, if you open the door and you find a the hallway full of smoke is close the door. The door is one of the best piece equipment, fire safety equipment in a building. It keeps fire and smoke out, and especially in buildings like this, those are extra special doors. They're much thicker, it can hold back. So what it did, it did what it was supposed to do. It kept those elements from going in there. They were sheltering in place, and they were probably in the best place possible. The fire is not gonna go through the wall very rarely we would have hoses already up there. And many times we do tell people to shelter in place because you are better in that room than you are any place else. So it's always important to do what the firefighters tell you to do. They wouldn't evacuate those residents until we feel that the hallway is safe enough to, for them to evacuate through. It's a complex for a low income complex for seniors. That's what I understand. Anything else? You know, I'm not sure if it's even for seniors and that, but but in any event, this this went really well. Went to a third alarm, which means that we probably got about 40 pieces of equipment with about 100 firefighters on scene. If you give me just one second, guys, I can tell you for sure. Any questions? Um, you know, a few questions. To this is you guys train all year for situations like this. 
so fortunate to be able to uh, have no injuries, nothing like too serious happen. But uh, I, do you want to talk about the training and what you guys go through to make sure you guys prevent any uh, foot damage or any uh, injuries or death? Yes. I don't have those little things up there like they used to. You know, everything works well. Uh, this is when we give classes to the public, especially in high rises. Everything that was supposed to happen happened here this morning. Again, we tell people when you're leaving, check the hallway first. If the hallway is completely filled with smoke, don't escape. Close the door, put a towel down at the bottom of the floor, call 911 and tell them what room you're in so they can tell us on the fire ground so we can send firefighters up there to retrieve you. But again, even in your regular home, in your apartments, that closed doors save lives. So you should sleep with your door closed, go into your room so if a fire starts, it keeps the smoke out. It slows down the progression of fire in homes and buildings like this here to, in hotels and that the doors are much thicker, they're better quality than in the average home. They can fight back the fire for longer amounts of time. So make sure you have smoke alarms in your house. The alarms did work here. Probably had some people that had some hearing problems, but the firefighters did get them out. They were evacuated to a shelter. They're returning back to their apartments now. I don't have a count on how many people are displaced, but most likely it's just going to pertain to those two apartments. As a Red Cross, be contacted to help the displaced uh, folks. You'll be Red Cross. Yeah, we're uh, we're going to go in and do an assessment now to find out how many apartments are not compatible for people staying in there right now, and we'll work that out with management and the Red Cross. Okay. Thank you, Tim. Thanks, guys. Yeah, this, yeah, this, what's that line here? What's that line? No, not, but.